Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Uh, today I am going to teach the uh, badges part. Here, click add new. I want to display here. I want to put the drop down and list down to all the courses. What are the courses you have registered? If you have registered those courses, I have to list down here. Okay, so how to list down here? We'll teach. So first you have to make the relationship. Right, so how to make the relationship? First, what I'm going to say, first go to the your model. Your model, you have to go here the app folder. The inside the app folder, we have a models folder. Inside the app folder, we have a uh, models folder. Inside the model, we have a batch model. Batch model, what I'm going to do is we have to associate with the uh, relationship with the course, right. Here we have a course, right? So this course table we have a ID. Course table the ID, the same ID where the batch table. So we have to make the relationship, right? So we have to make the relationship, right? I just copy and paste. I have to explain. Don't worry. Here the batch table, we have to create the function public function course, right? The function start and close it. Here return this belongs to course. Okay, this course ID belongs to course. So if you are right like this. Okay, we have to make the relationship here, right? So the one course as one batch. Okay, this course as one batch. Okay, one to one. So here, what you are going to do is here make the relationship return belongs to course. So if you are right like this, if you are associate the link in the model model. What I did here is we have to get all the attributes from the course class. You will you will be able to access the course class. Okay, so here this is all the this all the columns we will meet we can access it through this batch if you write like this okay so after that what i'm going to do the second one we have to do the second thing what i'm going to do is we have to go to the controller or go to the HTTP folder controllers batch controller here you have to write the you have to make the simple part you have to cover about this one so what you are going to do is here, right? So what I did here is we just call the. You can see the earlier we just call the create batch, create badges, create me. It goes to the badges folder, create page. Here what I did here is I need to get all the data from the courses, okay? Course because we we need to load the all the course names. So where the course name is there, it is available in the course table. So we already relationship, we made the relationship for the model. So here what I did here is, you write the courses, get, get the variable courses. Where we are going to load the courses? From the course model, you have to write the plug, you have to plug. Here, name and ID, we have to get more, both, name and ID, we have to plug. Okay, you have to get the name and ID, it's, it's both display, name and ID. After that, it will be returning the views as a batch view. Okay, so you have to this this all the data we have loaded and assign the variable courses variable. This, if you are passing the courses variable here, this variable will be goes to the the badges create page, right? So what I did here is now you have get the courses, but we have courses reside on where we have to give the path of the model where your model is resided. My model is resided where inside the model folder courses so you have to specify the part right only the badges what is your cat course right perfect now what i'm going to after that what i'm going to do is after done the stuff I, you may you be sure to save the document okay be sure to save the document after done the stuff after that what i'm going to do is uh, we have to do the another thing is right this is select statement we have to display as a drop down instead of the input field we have to display as a drop down this is the input field okay so we have to drop down as a drop down field so drop down what you're going to do is you have to go to the badges for badges folder create page here this is this one should be our input field here the course name is an input field the course name okay i'm going to rid of this name keep only course this one select this one and we have to 
press forward slash you have to comment it's this one instead of that you have to paste it this one this one should be the select box right select select means this is a combo box right select box this one should be the id so the same the id and post id this is the bootstrap type all things that we have done it after the select statement start it and close it this this how we have generated the drop down okay if you don't have an idea about drop down you just go and visit the uh site you will be able to get in the idea of drop down right drop down look like this here so right bootstrap drop down drop down so drop down bootstrap drop down you can get it here this is simple code here it's a drop down the so bootstrap drop down drop down right okay so this is a drop down list okay so here we have simple code we have to write it here select okay here we here what i did is there is a option so option means inside the option we have to load the uh, data we will be able to load the data so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to write the for each loop in order to load the data this is coming from where you can see here the badges you can see we have load the data from the courses model and we have plug okay we have to, instead of the id we have to load the name so you have to write the plug you have used the keyword plug in Laravel. After they return the view to the compass, compact, so it will be returned into the view this one. So here, this this all the way, this all the data is getting and passing to this variable. This variable calling to here inside the compact. When the page is open, uh, badges create it go along with the this data, courses data. So let me go to that particular page. This page you are receiving the data. Here as ID and name, we have to receive this both ID and name. The option value if you are passing the ID, the name we have to pass the name. That's the thing we have right. The for each is started here, for each is ended here. Okay, you have to follow the things like this. The perfect. We have to do the things perfectly well here. So this is must. Okay. Now let's see how the how it looks like. So let's file save all back to my project refresh it now here the course has been displayed here java and c sharp has been displayed successfully okay so if you want to create the new course for the course add new course php syllabus php something like that duration two months hit save button now if you go to the badges sorry badges if you click on this new uh, new new badge here php will be you 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 will be able to see the php now here badges i am going to create php 10000100001 check as php starting date you have select as 6 month 12 click save button here it will be course has been displayed successfully Right. It's perfectly, it you will be able to see all things are perfectly well. Uh, thank you for watching. I will be seeing my next lecture.